Thursday morning, we're taking a live look from Mobile 13, driving on 795, heading north toward Westminster. You see the snow falling. Thank you to our photographer, Tom Truant, out in Mobile 13. WJZ has team coverage of part one of the snow event, and we start with meteorologist Tim Williams. Tim. Well, good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. This is part one. As Lynn just mentioned, we have a two-part system, very complicated system, but simplifying it, it's snowing. That's all it is. You go outside, you look outside, you see what's coming down, and it's been steady through the night and right on into the morning. Heavier bands really from Cecil County all the way over to Garrett County with just a little bit of a lull out toward Hagerstown and Frederick right now. Let's take a look a little closer in. We'll show you that from, uh, say, Baltimore right on around the Beltway, right on in through the city really, right on around the Beltway, we're seeing some of the heavier bands, and that is going to be with us really off and on through the morning. We have advisories that are going to be with us through the morning, so that kind of gives you an idea of the time frame we're looking at. Let's talk about uh, some of the advisories and all we're talking about. Temperatures really are driving this whole thing. If you get into the city, you might even see some running water on the roadways because the temperature is just above freezing. And we did see some of that as we were coming in closer to the station. But in northern Baltimore County, up where the warnings are, we're looking at a winter storm warning and an advisory from, say, the city right on down to the south, all in effect until 10 o'clock uh, this morning. And then we start to uh, expect to see some of this snow ending west to east by noon, sir. Certainly, we'll start to see some of that tapering snow and then some heavy overnight again, mixing in some areas south. And then as we get uh, into the afternoon, some of the totals will start to come in multiple inches. But what we're seeing right now is playing out right on schedule three to five inches or so. Marty and I both coming in from uh, the northern portion of the viewing area, seeing right around five to six inches on our cars this morning, four to eight inches out in this first round. Again, just the first round out in far western Maryland. And we're looking at a trace to some rain in the lower eastern shore and southern Maryland now, but that will change going into the uh, evening. Marty, we have an active system. It's still playing out. Yeah, it is, and we've got Annie Rose down in a city location, which is not going to look as fluffy, snowy as you and I saw when we left our homes. Stetson's a little further north, so you'll start to see a little more of a gradation. Tom Truitt in uh, Mobile 13 out in Carroll County, once he gets off the main road, I think you'll see a, a fluffy snow piled up. It's going to be an easily movable snow as we move through the day, but right now, you know, just kind of as you might want to say, just shelter in place, let road crews do their thing, and we'll be able to start moving around this afternoon north. Then south, all this energy out over Kentucky will be playing into that latter day forecast and into tomorrow morning. Bulk of today's snow, again, this is southern Maryland, will fall in southern zones, additional two, three, one, three inches areas south, maybe some locally heavier amounts. Snow exits Friday morning. So, where Tim showed you, Warnings now will expire, and then later on, when part two comes into play, advisories might darn well become warnings. Here's future chaos showing essentially all this energy moving by the area during part two. Uh, temperatures this day will be pretty much in the mid 30s.